All right, so I just wanted to make a review of the uh, COSC 631 Web Development 2 course offered at Frostburg State University. Uh, this course is one of the required courses for the Applied Computer Science Master's degree offered at Frostburg. Uh, this video is kind of both directed at Dr. Mike Flynn, the instructor for this course, as well as hopefully anyone looking to take the course and wondering what to expect. So I'm just going to give a short description of my situation as I took the course so you kind of have some context. I have a bachelor's degree in computer science and I've worked as a back-end web developer for about a year so with that comes the advantage of having formal comp sci experiences as well as web development experience but also the disadvantage of taking this course while working 40 hours a week coding already. Um, so there's a little bit of burnout that comes with, with that. Um, I also took this course all online uh, during the six week summer session. Uh, so it's a lot of work crammed into six weeks and it seemed like Dr. Flynn did not cut really much of the content or work that you would do in the full fall or spring semester course. Um, but just in general, I want to say that this course out of all courses have I've taken from either my undergraduate degree or graduate school so far has to be the most useful for the real world without a doubt. Um, it is very little like theory and it's extremely hands-on and to be honest it, it is one of the only courses I've taken in computer science academia that I felt wasn't disconnected in many ways from the modern landscape of technology so most of my courses have been theory based they've been small project based um, they not really allowing you to get real world marketable skills um, and this course is basically the exact opposite you pretty much have no choice but to improve your skills as a web developer and uh, become more marketable if you do want to end up as a web developer down the road. Um, but first of all, as far as the coursework goes, one of the big projects for the course is building an Android application. Um, so that's very useful. Uh, whether you want to be a mobile developer or not, it is a project to add to your portfolio, and that is uh, there's a lot to be said for that. In addition, every single week we did a sampling of a modern tech stack. Uh, so for example, we built a basic CRUD application using the mean stack. And then the next week we took some of that code, we implemented the same website on an AWS instance in the cloud. Uh, we used LAMP stack as well. Uh, but you're using modern tech um, and modern tech stacks so that actually give you marketable skills. It forces you to code in some languages you may not have touched before. Um, and it gives you real world situations where you might have to deal with build errors or configuration, connecting to a database, making a website open to the public so you're getting some networking and system admin skills along with all of the web dev skills uh, so that's very useful in addition every week you're uh, reading articles related to modern trends in tech so it's it forces you to have some type of idea about what's going on in the world and what is important and uh, finally finally we focused quite a bit on the usability of a website which if you can design a usable and user-friendly application then you are definitely a step above the competition especially as a junior developer uh, so the course content is actually helpful and if you want to be a developer one day the assignments are fun you actually get to build something and you can add a lot of these projects to your portfolio and say you've touched these technologies so extremely useful content from the course uh, however you do have to keep in mind that this course start, starts off right out of the gate with a lot of work and you do not get a chance to slack off or get behind uh, so with that being said i would su not suggest taking this course if you are not in the mindset to work hard and tough it out and start things early uh, you have to get through problems because you will end up getting behind to the point of no return very quickly um, so I would be ready to hit the ground running but that being said Dr. Flynn throughout the whole entire course offers pretty good advice and encouragement to make sure you're keeping up with checkpoints make sure you're in the right spot for assignments uh, so he really does set you up for success he's clearly both a very motivated person in his own right and involved in a lot of things and he clearly cares about your learning and making you into a more intelligent and intelligent uh, developer uh, also, Dr. Flynn was an ins insanely available, uh, so the fact that this course was all online is almost irrelevant. Uh, he makes multiple videos every week giving you an overview for that week, uh, where you should be, and giving detailed descriptions and help with the upcoming assignments, so that, that's extremely helpful. Um, so although a lot of this work is difficult and done independently, he be by no means leaves you out to dry. Uh, the course is interactive and it is very easy to get help if you are willing to ask and uh, start things ahead of time. Uh, as far as grading goes, this is important to a lot of people, I think grading was very fair for all the assignments. And the biggest thing is that although there is a ton of work in assignments, your grade is not just riding on one big paper. It's not just riding on one big application. So if you are smart, you can play this to your advantage. Um, so for example, I ended up starting my Android application very late, uh, just because you had a time crunch. I work 40 hours a week, I already do a lot of coding. Um, so I ended up doing pretty poorly. It didn't work out. I started way too late. Uh, but it, 
over all, throughout the whole course, I worked very hard on everything else, and I set my grade up to the point so that one bad grade didn't even affect me for the final grade. It was not a big deal, and so the course gives you a lot of reasons and ways to be successful if you are willing to put in the effort. Overall, my hope is that the rest of the course I have the courses I have in this master's de degree uh, are just like this one. Uh, Dr. Flynn did a great job with the course, and truthfully, I would take this course alone, even if you didn't have any interest in pursuing the full master's degree, because there's a lot to be gained from it. Um, so, you know, thank you to Dr. Flynn for all your efforts, um, and to any future students, I cannot recommend this course enough. You will, without a doubt, look back at this course when you get your jobs as developers and think about all the things you've learned here that help you on a day-to-day -day basis um, years down the road. It's already helping me currently on my uh, web development job, so uh, I'm very happy I took this course, and like I said, I hope the rest of the master's degree is, is very similar to this, so uh, thank you guys for watching, and good luck to anyone taking this course.